A couple scary outfield plays this afternoon. First is City Field, Verlander on the mound. Alvarez in left and Pena collide. Alvarez was carted off the field. Pena walked off under his own power. Both guys day to day, they should be fine. This is Jonathan Davis for the Brewers slamming into the outfield wall. Bo Porter loved teaching outfield defense. Uh, Chris Young, a terrific defensive outfielder during his playing days. They're in Studio 42. What did you guys notice in those two plays? Well, when you look at the Houston Astros play and see why you actually played in the outfield uh -huh. in which I was the coach, and these are the things that we talk about every spring training. The infielder, it's always going to come back on the baseball, but it is the job of the outfielder to make his job easy. And when I look at that play today, Alvarez came in, he was calling for the play, but it was not loud enough. Yes, when you get into a ballpark, you're going to get crowd noise, but you have to be emphatic if you are the outfielder coming in so that you can get that infielder's attention because the infielder is going back. He's going to go back until he hears something. And if he don't hear anything, he's going to keep going. And it can't be, I got it, I got it. It has to be loud. I got it, I got it, I got it so that the infielder knows to get out of the way. Hopefully both of those guys are going to be okay, but that is a situation with the left fielder, Alvarez. He has to take complete control of that play. Yeah, and to add to that, Bo, those, those are all great points. With Alvarez, that's what comes with, okay, he's a good left fielder, but you're not a great left fielder. Yes, you need to be as loud as possible. But in all honesty, you got to be aware of your surroundings. I mean, this is a high fly ball. This is not a ball in the gap where you have to go full out, lay out. You'll have, you don't have no time to take your eye off the ball. As he's coming in, drifting towards that ball, he's able to peek down. If I'm running in to catch that ball, I would person if I was playing left field, I would see Pena right there. I see that he's not slowing down his energy. I'm yelling even louder to your point to make sure that he can hear me because you have to avoid those kind of collisions because yes. those type of plays, they happen all the time. And throughout a season, that's going to happen five, six times. And if you don't communicate well, you could end up, you know, missing some significant time. Yes, absolutely. And with uh, Jonathan Davis, that play replacing Lorenzo Cain out there, you have a young player trying to make an amazing play in which he actually made the catch. If he doesn't make the catch, this is not worth it. But this is what's really tough about playing on a turf field. He's going full speed. To my point earlier, he didn't have time to check and see where the wall was. The only time he had a chance to look at the wall was when he initially takes that drop step back. He takes that drop step back. He's looking at the wall, but you can't calibrate it when you have 10 or 15 steps left and the difference that you have in Tampa the field is just like this yes and what I mean by that when I'm running back to the wall I can feel what's under my spikes and as I'm running I can feel the difference of grass to dirt and once I feel that dirt I know that the wall is coming up when you're in Tampa you don't have that change in surface level to where he has no idea that he's he's that close to the wall and luckily he was able to stay in the game but that could have been very bad but he made the catch so I'm assuming right now he feels like it was worth it. Yes, great job. When you, when, you, when you think about that play, that's one of the things we do as outfield coaches. You get into a new ballpark, and you're going to go out and you're going to check all of the surroundings. In Tampa, it's very difficult for an outfielder, if he doesn't have a chance to look down, to know how close you are to the wall because the surface doesn't change. Greg, if you're on the mound right there, you want me doing that to make that play for you in a big situation? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> and the thing is, I kind of bummed me out about Jonathan Davis was, it, he was riding in pain so quickly that we couldn't really celebrate how amazing that catch was. <laughs> we were like, wow, what a catch. We're like, oh, no, is he okay? It didn't look good. It didn't no, look it did good at all. Good. And the Alvarez and Pena collision didn't look good either. Here's the latest on that situation from Mark Berman. Dusty Baker on Jeremy Pena and Alvarez with the media in New York. Quote, they're being evaluated by the doctors. Pena said he was okay, of course. Your Don wanted to stay in the game. Jordan's not a guy you pick to run into, and neither is Pena because both of them are well-built. That's a quote from the manager of the Astros, Dusty Baker. Now it's time for late 